Hi everyone, Anthony here from Level Up Your Teaching. Today we're going to look at a new video conferencing platform called Profinconf. Now I was asked to make this video by Profinconf. I spent some time using the tool, using it with my students and I was quite happy with it, so I agreed. Having said that, this is still going to be a honest review slash tutorial for Proficonf. I need to highlight this. So for starters, we're going to look at the available price plans of Proficonf and its features. So without further ado, let's go. There are three different price plans available, a free version, a pro that will set you back $12 a month and a premium that costs $25 a month. Having said that, the free version is actually quite generous. Compared to Zoom, for example, here you can have a session without a time limit with a maximum of five participants. You can use a whiteboard, share files and all the other basic features that you expect from a video conferencing platform. Uh, talking about sharing files, there is a limit of 500 megabytes to the files that you can upload before you start deleting or replacing files. Now, one thing that is not included in the free plan is the ability to record your session. It was a bit sad, but it does make sense that it is a premium feature. Now, what you get for your money with the Pro and the premium account is the ability to have 100 and 250 participants respectively, is the ability to record your session, also an auto-recording feature and a thank you page after the lesson has finished with the premium plan. Now a few features that I would like to share with you and really stood out for me. First of all, regarding safety, Proficonf uses two safety protocols one to protect your data and another one to protect your video and sound recordings. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to safety, but I know it has been an issue with other platforms, so I thought I should let you know about the existence of the protocols, even though I can't really test them. Now, the second thing, just like Big Blue Button, you don't need to download or install a software. All you need to do is log in the Profinconf webpage and then use it through your internet browser. The third thing that I found really interesting is the fact that Profinconf changes the quality of your video and audio to match your internet speed. So let's say that you're experiencing some internet connectivity issues and you have lower speed than normal then during the session, Proficonf will lower the resolution of your video and your sound quality so that you don't experience any interruption or lag. I found this tool very, very useful because I had this problem before with my students. Now, the last thing is that you can use Proficonf to live stream through popular platforms like YouTube. Now, this is something that I don't really use, but I thought I should let you know in case you want to use it. So now, why don't we go and have a look how we can use this platform and get a better idea of the UI. This is the main web page of Profinconf. If you want, you can go on and have a look at the features and the pricing in a bit more detail. What we have to do is go on and click sign up to create an account. You can use some of the most famous social media like Facebook, VK, Google and LinkedIn to create an account or simply use your email. I already have an account, so I'll click sign in. This is your main dashboard and over here you have the two most important options to instantly start an event or to schedule an event. If you click start, you will on the spot create a session or if you click schedule you will schedule an upcoming event for a later date. Now let's go on and click schedule so that we plan an event for a later date. First you can select the title of the event you want to create. The next one is whether you want this to be a permanent event or not. If you switch this one on you will see that the time zone and the date are not available anymore. 
This is because this room will be available 24-7. If we switch it off, you will see that the date and time and the time zone reappear. Now let's go on and click the date and a time that we want and a time zone that reflects where we live. Next one is the participants role. Here you can choose the rights that your participants will have. If you click speaker, that means all the participants will be able to demonstrate their camera and microphone to others and also share content with the other people on the main stage. If you click viewer, that means they have only restricted rights and they can't do any of the things that we just said. If you want this to be a private event, you will switch this one on. What that means is that when your students or your participants in general enter the room with their link, they will have to wait into a waiting room. If you switch it off, they can automatically enter the session with the link without having to wait. Finally, the auto start recording and enable post redirection page are only available with a premium account. The first one does what it says. The moment you open your session, it will automatically start recording the meeting. The second one is for when your session has finished and you would like to redirect your participants into a different page. This can be your website or a thank you page. When you're happy with the information that you have provided and your choices, you can go on and click Create. As you can see, the event has appeared now under the Upcoming Tabs event. Now let's go on and see what other options we have under the Events tab. First, the Upcoming Events with all the events that are scheduled for a later date, the completed events with all the events that have already been finished and finally the permanent tab where we have all the events that are ongoing. Let's go on back to the upcoming now. The next thing I would like to show you is the files tab right here at the top. As you can see over here there are three available files, two PDF files and an MP4. On the left hand side we have a search bar where we can type the name of the file that we're looking for and an upload button to upload a new file. Now let's go on and click that upload button. Let's go on and upload a document, a Word document file. As you can see our file has been uploaded but the extension of our file has changed into a PDF. Proficonf will always change your Word document, Excel and PowerPoint presentations into PDF. What that means is that if you have animations in your files, then these will be changed into static images when they become PDF. So that's something important to bear in mind. You can also download again or remove the files from your list if you want. By clicking over here on the left, you're given two different options. First, to download to your computer and secondly, to move it into the bin. Let's go on and delete this file. Even though we deleted the file, it's still accessible. If you go to the Files bin over here at the top right, you will see that the file is already here. Now, if you don't want to have that file at all, you can go on and click Delete. This will permanently delete this file. If you want to keep it though, you can go on, click over here again and then click Restore to bring it back. Let's go back to the files now. Now I would like to show you a little bit about our profile. Over here at the top right corner, if you click you have three different options. To go to your profile, to check your billing and to sign out. Let's click my profile. Here very quickly you can change your first name, your last name or add a picture. If you click login, from here you can change your email address or password. And finally you can add some social media to your account. 
So that's all there is to say about the main dashboard. And now I think it's about time that we start our own event. So let's go on and start an instant event this time. As you can see, by clicking Start Event, there are no other options that we are asked to choose. We're directly headed into the main room. Automatically, Profinconf will ask you whether you would like to use your camera or your microphone. Over here from these drop-down menus, you can choose which webcam or microphone you want to use if you have multiple devices. When you're ready, you click the blue button. Now, because I'm recording this video, I can't actually use my camera, but normally you would be able to see yourself over here. Now, let's go on and have a look at the interface of Profinconf. Right at the top, you have three different buttons. One to enable and disable your mic, your video, and finally, if you would like to leave the call. On the right-hand side, you have the duration of the session. Here there is a very interesting feature. It tells you whether your internet connection is good enough and depending on whether it's good or not, you get a different device score for your camera, microphone and screen. Depending on the score, then Profinconf will change the resolution to match your internet connection's speed. The next one is to invite participants. By clicking here, you generate a link which you can send to your students or you can invite them by email by clicking here, typing their names here and then click Invite. The next one is the Recording button. If you have, for example, a Pro account that allows you to record but not a Premium that does an auto-recording, then you click here to start recording your session. As you can see, there are three different things that you can include or not in your recording. The chat, the participant's thumbnail, and the ability to only show your video. So if you have students who are minors, but you still have the ability to record them, but you don't want their thumbnails to appear, then you can deselect this one and click Start Recording. As you can see, the recorder is running and we can stop it at any time by clicking Stop Recording. Next is a streaming button for those of you who would like to stream through YouTube or Twitch or other popular streaming platforms. The next one changes how you see people. If, for example, there are multiple people with a camera zone, you can just have the active speaker appearing on the screen or if you would like to have everyone appearing on your screen you can have a tile grid which will have all the different webcams in a tile. Finally by clicking the gear button you can change the room settings. The first one you can manually change the audio and video quality. In the next one you can change some of the sharing settings for example, who is able to share and also who can interrupt people when they are already sharing. In the next one, you can change the name that appears when you join the room and if you would like this to be a private meeting. Finally, you can change the language and if you would like your participants to use the chat. Now, another thing that I would like to show you that I found really interesting is that look over here. If you click this one, you will see that now the event is an open access event. And if you click it again, it becomes locked. It becomes a private. So that's a really nice way to, on the spot, change the private access of your event. On the left hand side, we have the participants list. We have the ability to invite people or mute them all. And over here, we can actually bring somebody to stage. What this does is it changes the main speaker of the room. In the next one, we have the chat box where people can communicate by writing messages. And finally, and very importantly, the share tab. Here we have four different options. Screen sharing, the whiteboard, YouTube video, and files. 
By clicking Screen Sharing, you can select another window that you would like to share with your participants. Let's go on and open a new window so that I can show you how this works. So here I have a PowerPoint presentation that I can share with you. As you can see, one of the four options that I get here is the PowerPoint presentation. And we get a little screen preview of our file. Now everyone can see this presentation. Now if you want to go back to the main room, what you have to do is bring Profinconf back and click Stop Sharing. Now everyone returns into the main room. Now one thing that I would like to highlight about screen sharing is that if, for example, you have a window but is minimized and click Screen Sharing, you will see that it doesn't appear here. What we need to do instead is go back to the window and maximize it, change into Profinconf and then click Screen Sharing and as you can see it appears again. Now the next thing that I would like to show you is the YouTube feature where if you click here you can just copy and paste the link of a video that you would like to share click share and as you can see the video automatically appears into the main screen. Another very interesting feature is right over here on the left you will see that the different windows that we open appear as tabs so if you would like to go back to the share you just click here. If you would like to remove the YouTube video you click on the X here. Similarly to the files tab that we saw before, we have the four available files. From here, we choose the file that we would like to share with our students and double-click it. As you can see, the PowerPoint presentation has appeared now. Again, if you would like to change back to the share, you click over here, and if you would like to remove this window, click on the X button over here. Finally, the whiteboard tool. The whiteboard is pretty basic. You have the most important features that you would expect from a whiteboard, such as a handwriting pen, that works pretty well, I can say, a rubber, some lines, an option to make circles, rectangles, over here to increase the width of your tools. It also works for the rubber. And finally, you can change the color that you would like to use and click clear if you would like to remove everything from the screen. That's all pretty much there is to say about Profinconf. So why don't we head back now to summarize what we've seen and talk about whether Profinconf is a useful tool or not. Overall, Profinconf is an amazing tool for both schools and freelance teachers. Freelance teachers in particular would be very happy to use a free software that comes with some premium features, which other softwares ask money for. From my experience, the software runs very smoothly without any lag and the fact that it changes my video and sound quality during the lesson for me was a brilliant tool and it really helped me. And that's why actually I would really like to try it with my 221 lessons. So that's all for today. If you use Profikov or you would like to use it, please let me know in the comments below. And once again, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and the content. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one.